Hey guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com, and today I'm going to be installing this magnetic connector on an e-bike battery. Now, what is this thing? This is known as a Rosenberger magnetic connector. I got it from lunacycle.com, and it's rated there at about uh, 52 volts and 20 amps. So that's around 1,000 watts of power. Now this is normally used as a charging connector, but my wife's bike is pretty low power. Um, you know, it's got this little baby controller. It's about 15 amps. It's a 36 volt e-bike, so that's around 500 watts of maximum battery power. So I think this is gonna be definitely fine for a discharging connector for her bike. Let me show you how this works. If you had a MacBook computer once, you know how that charger worked. It's just, you know, a simple magnet. It only goes one way, and it's super easy to connect. If you try to put it the wrong way, the magnet is the wrong polarity, and it's just not gonna it's not going to go, it's going to force itself out. So it'll only connect the right way, and it's super easy to use. Um, now why would I want to use this as a uh, battery connector? So this is my wife's bike, like I said, and if I show you here, battery inception. So this is the old battery that I made for her. By the way, if you want to see how I made these weird shaped batteries, um, I made a video of building this exact battery about a month ago. I'll put a link to it up here. Um, so this is her old battery. And she had these uh, Anderson power pole connectors, which I like these, but they are a little bit harder to use. And so for her, putting them together and then pulling them apart, it does take a little bit of hand strength, and uh, she's not a big fan of it. Also, she's ripped the wires out of the back of them a few times just because she's not real good about the whole don't pull on the wire thing. So I just want to give her like a foolproof, you know, easy to use connector. And these magnetic connectors, there we go. There's just, there's nothing easier than that. It's just, it's super simple. So today I'm going to install uh, this side of the magnetic connector on her bike. I already put the uh, battery side on here. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. All right, let's get started. Now I'll start by disconnecting my battery wires and then getting rid of the battery. You don't wanna work on your battery wires while there's a battery connected. Next, I'm gonna snip off my old battery connector one wire at a time. And then I'll probably just save that because you never know when you need another connector. Then I snipped further up the wire jacket here just to free up a little more space to work with these wires. And I forgot to film it, but then I stripped the ends of the wires so they were bare. Now I'll slide some large heat shrink over both of the battery wires here so that when I'm done I can tidy everything up and make it look nice and professional. The magnetic connector also comes with data wires, but I'm going to use these to power some lights. But the lights haven't arrived from AliExpress yet, so that'll have to be another video. Next, I add a short piece of heat shrink onto both of the battery wires, and then I'll prepare them for soldering. I started with a negative wire, but you can do either wire first, it doesn't really matter. But after each soldering job, I'll slide the heat shrink over that uh, solder area after the area is cooled. And then I'll move on to the next wire, and I'll solder that one, in this case the positive wire, by first pushing the wires together and then adding solder to join them. And then make sure you go all the way around if your solder doesn't go all the way through on these thick wires. Lastly, just cover that one with heat shrink as well. And you should really use a heat gun, but I was a bit lazy, so I did this with um, just a lighter. But like I said, you should really use a heat gun on these. Don't be lazy like me. Lastly, I'll slide that big piece of heat shrink over all the wires just to make them look nice and neat. And that's it, my new magnetic connector is done. And you can actually use the same process for changing any connector on your battery. If you know, get a new battery and it doesn't fit your bike or you change the connectors, this is the exact same process you'll use. You just cut off the old one and solder on the new one in its place. So thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. And last but not least, where did I put those? It's time for the ebikeschool.com book giveaway. Now the lucky winner from last week's video is, drum roll please, Sadizna. Congratulations, Sadizna. Send me a private message here on YouTube with your address and which one of my books you'd like, and I'll get it sent out to you. You can choose either the Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide or DIY Lithium Batteries, How to Build Your Own Battery Packs. And if you want to win your own copy of one of my books, all you have to do is put a comment in this video, anything you want, and during my next video, I will draw one random winner to win a copy of my book. And if you don't want to wait that long and you want to support what I'm doing on this channel, you can always head to Amazon and pick up one of my books there. Thanks for watching, everybody.